Well, folks, hello. As I promised, we were going to keep up with the arrest of Judge Christina Peterson there in Atlanta. Well, we've got some unique footage and it explains a little bit more in detail as to what exactly happened that morning. So it was about 3 a.m. in the morning. And here is the footage as we have found available online right now, comes from the Atlanta Police Department. Here you go. We're going to keep it muted, however. It says that on June 20th, 2024, at approximately 3.18 a.m., officers responded to the location there on Peachtree Road. There is a lot of noise, a lot of arguing, and a lot of stuff, but this video is very telling. Let's see. Hopefully there's no music or anything in the background. So it says that upon arrival, police noticed the individuals fighting. No, he can touch me. Everything for no reason. So you hear the judge screaming, let her effing go, let her effing go, while the police are trying to de-escalate the incident, an unidentified female pushes toward the officers and then strikes him, and that is Christina Peterson. Now you see her wig falls off of her head, they have her bound by her hand, and they're now putting the uh, handcuffs on Judge Peterson. Take me where you want to take me. I can't take no, you. I don't take have any me. identification. And I don't care. You don't need the identification. You have locked people up and you you have picked up dead bodies when you don't know who bodies it was, Man. but you picked them up. Man. Take me where you need to take me. I'm trying to. No, take me where you need to take me immediately, expeditiously. And you're preventing take that. me. I could give a damn. Take me where you want to so take, you me me take me. You now, now, take me where you want to take me. Take me where you need to go, sir. I can't. I can't. This is harassment. You don't want to provide a name. Take Ronnie into. I, you can't hotel. provide a name. The pod, sell, or take me where you need to. I will get a fingerprint and, you can, and they can find out who I am. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. That's not, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. Stop playing with me and harassing me. That's not how it works. It will work like that. I need a name and date of birth. No. All right, then we just. We're going to sit here. Don't play with me. Play with your mama. What's your first and last name? Play with somebody else, Freeman. You can Google me and find me anywhere in, in America. I mean, what's your name? Find somebody else. So I can Google you. Call somebody. Call, so I told are you, him are you going? Are you going to give me your I told him to call and to ask him who I was. Are you going to give I me? I claim that she was uncooperative, as we can see okay. here. But what? I wasn't hooked. I wasn't. Shut up! You look like a who's trying to do this before and I never let her Stop touching me. Don't. Yeah, stop touching me. Get the off of me. Stop touching me. I got it. I can walk on my own. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I got it. I can walk on my own. Don't touch me. Now, which one are you staying? This too tight, ma'am? Because you're it's moving. This one? This one. Okay. was charged with simple battery against the police officer, a felony obstruction of law enforcement officer. Uh, how does that feel? I got a, you got small wrists, so it's... I know I do. I don't supposed to be in handcuffs. You said you shouldn't be in no. handcuffs? No. Okay. But when people... So, what's my charges now? You said I was charged with a felony? What's a felony? You didn't you didn't tell me that? Yeah, misdemeanor. Um what's that? This is the how many charges is it, sir? Because they went from one to I told you obstruction 
a simple battery. Obstruction. What, what's fel? You said felony obstruction. Yeah. What is felony obstruction? That's rather coy of her to ask what is felony obstruction. All persons are presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Um, however, there are more pieces to this. So let's just get into the commentary portion and the actual um, actual article itself. It says the Atlanta police have released body cam footage showing the arrest of Douglas County probate judge Christina Peterson after she allegedly struck an officer outside of a nightclub on Thursday. The Atlanta police officer was working an approved extra job at the Red Martini restaurant and lounge when he heard a commotion around 318 and then he went to investigate, the department said. The officer found security escorting a woman out of the venue and tried to deescalate the situation when a woman, later identified as 38-year-old Peterson, rushed toward the commotion and immediately started screaming at the security guard and the officer, according to police. Now, Peterson is seen on the officer's body camera pushing the officer in the chest and yelling, let her effing go. Police said Peterson kept swinging his hands away as he attempted to assist the female being escorted out and allegedly pushed the officer in the chest a second time before being placed into custody. Peterson allegedly refused to cooperate with the officer as he tried to learn her identity. Body cam footage shows a curse shows Peterson cursing at the officer while in custody. She can be heard saying, don't effing touch me and shut the F up. She is also seen sitting in the back seat of the police car while in handcuffs. Once police learned her identity, the officer secured arrest warrants for simple battery against a police officer and obstruction of law enforcement officer. Peterson was then taken to the Fulton County Jail for processing and uh, taken into custody without incident. Peterson is being represented by a lawyer and the Fulton County Commissioner, Marvin Arrington Jr., who held a press conference alongside Peterson on Friday about the incident itself. Now, Arrington said Peterson was helping to defend a woman who was being attacked by an unknown man outside the lounge when the incident with the officer occurred. The woman, Alexandria Love, described the incident during the press conference and claimed that Peterson tried to help her, saying, quote, he viciously attacked me, Love said, of the unknown man, punched me in my face, and Judge Peterson was the only one to help me, close quote. Arlington, or Arrington, called on the lounge to release their surveillance footage, saying that based on eyewitness and video, Peterson should never have been arrested. Peterson has made headlines in the past after becoming a judge in 2020. A Judicial Qualifications Commission panel did find Peterson guilty of systematic incompetence in April and recommended that she be removed from office. This was, of course, uh, based on the Fox 5 Atlanta footage that you and I have already seen, but this is what they reported. The article goes on to say that while investigating Peterson's alleged misconduct, the panel found that she had failed to do her job on multiple occasions and ignored courthouse rules, abused courthouse personnel, and posted inappropriately on social media, the station reported. Peterson's fate as a judge rests with the, with the Georgia Supreme Court, which will weigh on the panel's recommendation at an unspecified date. Now, here's what I've got to say. They didn't have to add all the extra stuff to the article, but baby, when I tell you they did, they did. And it will definitely have some bearing on what folks think about her in general. Now, I don't know if this situation between she and the police there are going to uh, merit a, a, a jury. You know, I don't know. Maybe that'll all be lumped into what's going on with her right now. Again, I'm not in the law. I don't know, but I can tell you that based on what we see, if it is based on a jury, well, it looks like the outcome may not be what she wants. You let me know down below in the comments what you think. Do you think that this will ever go to a jury or do you think that there'll be a plea bargain or, you know, what do you think? Do you think that is rules for thee and, you know, rules for one and rules for the other? Is it going to be all balanced? I don't know. But We'll see exactly what happens. Hey, I want to also invite you guys out for this Wednesday. 
we are having two of the Dalton trustees join myself as well as Judge Joe Brown this Wednesday afternoon here on the Law Car Perspective and Headlines with a Voice. So I'm giving you a personal invitation right now to share it out. You'll see the um, the uh, video of this come up later on today. It's sort of like a small little advertisement so that you and your folks know exactly when to tune in and at it, and what exact time. So I hope to hear from you guys down below in the comments as it relates to this situation going on with Judge Peterson there in Douglas County, Georgia. Uh, she, of course, will have to deal with the uh, Fulton County uh, judge or the Fulton County district system, I should say, judicial system, because that's exactly where this incident took place. <laughs> Whew, it's a lot of stuff going on. Well, folks, thank you so much for tuning in and uh, make sure you have a great day. Hey everyone, it's me, Felicia, of the Lockhart Perspective and Headlines with a Voice. I want to tell you a little secret. This is what I used to do, because I don't do it anymore. I would go to the store, buy the barbecue sauce, pour it inside of a bowl, put a whole bunch of different spices, a dash of brown sugar, a dash of maple, and a dash of mustard, stir it all around, and everybody would be like, oh my gosh, this is the best, this is the best. But I was exhausted after all of that, and a lot of times I couldn't remember how many dashes of what I put in it. But I don't have to do that anymore because now I just go to Judge Joe Brown's website and I order his three pack of bottled barbecue sauce. It is by far the best. And I do mean the best barbecue sauce I've ever eaten. And when you go to his website and you order his three pack, you'll see exactly what I mean. Head on over to JJBBBQ.com and order Judge Joe Brown's barbecue sauce. You'll be glad you did. And you're going to tell me about it. I know you will. Like a perspective